So if you look right now. What's happening everyone? Welcome, welcome back to the Riley Boo channel. This is V, your host. Today, I'm going to be installing the Lunar Gator seat on the Talarius Thing R. I'm also going to be installing a set of Lunar Chain Tension Blocks and also a set of foot pegs. Let's get into it. Should be a one, two, three process. Let's open the box. Up to the okay. Need a seat in here. And a nice chain tensioner block for Tolaria. The float seat, Gator. Okay, there's tension of screws. These are the blocks. Let's take one of them out. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be as soft as the one X has. I was kidding. Alright, um Looking at the seat, I took it off before. What was I doing? Oh, when I was changing out this um this tail light. So it looks like I'm gonna have to take it off again to change out the seat. Cause I know it's these two bolts right and these two nuts right here, and there's two nuts up on the head somewhere. So I'm trying to think of the least least painful way to do this as possible. Yeah, I gotta take the seat off. There's no other way. So I gotta loosen one, two over here and two on the other side and this whole thing will come off. Two on this side. Two on this side. Two on this side. Two on this side. Missing? Oh, there you go. Forgot about these. Made a mistake, it's actually three on this side. One, two, three, and three on the other side. The four of them is eight millimeters, these two appear at six millimeters. Go ahead and just take this light off. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take these off. I gotta take these four screws under here as well. Mm -hmm. Gotta take these off to get to. I think there's two nuts up there. I wish I had a heat gun up here. I could just make quick work of this shit right here. That's what it looks like under there. So I got this one, two, three, and four. Those nuts right there. I also have to loop this up. This is for the rear fender. It broke. I was doing a wheelie and um, I looped. So I gotta do this one now. This I actually put in there because I need a new fender. I need a new fender. Yeah, I do a lot just to change the seat. I do number 10. Number 10 spanner. These I can't use the spanner on. Okay, one. What the hell is that? Matter of fact, let me put this over here and figure it out over here. So tight over there. Okay. Figure this out, take this off. And these are broke on my seat, broke when my um my fender broke. Move this out the way. Bring this in here. Oh, oh there we go. Now this on there like that so 
So whenever I get my fender, I gotta take this thing apart again. Dang, I should have. I can't find one though. The mother. Okay, let me see if I can get this back together. This thing was a little bent. The looping I was involved with. Kind of bent it. I'm actually sweating changing out of the seat. <laughs> so I got this back in there. And, um, it takes four screws, but so I'm gonna find that screw. And I left this hole undone so I could always slide it up in there. Won't be a big deal. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'll, guess I'll start with putting One's in the front, guy. There's one on each side. One over here. We got four of these. Two on each side. Ooh, this thing looks fire! Oh my God, you can't really see because black, it just blends in. But damn. Okay, next up, I'm gonna be swapping out these foot pegs. I have these babies gonna throw in there. I wish I had a 19 socket up here, but I guess I gotta make work do with the spanner. Okay, now to get rid of this one. Well, I didn't show it, but I had to drill this out a little bit, maybe two or three millimeters. Cause this one. This one right here is a little bit bigger. Maybe two, three millimeters bigger. So I, I, just, I just went ahead and drilled it up. Couple millis different. Difference. All right, so now, I'm gonna see if I can throw these in. These chain tensioners. If I get that on. Man, this seat looks sexy. Ooh. This, I'm gonna use a T40 and a 17 millimeter. I think I can use a spanner. And here took the. So now I just loosen this up. Just 
get this side all done. Fighting to get this back in. Trying to adjust the train a little. I'm playing around with these lines, you can't really see it, but it's pretty much this third line one, two, three, and it's lined up with the second mark here. One, two. Same on the other side. I think the chain is pretty tight now. Hope it's not too tight. If I still hear that slapping around under there. So she looking right now. 